Ultra Video Pirate Oi. Last Pass announces that they are going to transition from a subscription model to a free model. Last Pass now completely free to use on PCs, smartphones, and tablets. It's now available totally free, not just for one device, but for all of your devices. Since 2008 is when Last Pass started their software that saves your password. Back then they started as a subscription model but then on November 2nd 2016 yesterday LastPass decided that they would switch from the aforementioned subscription model now to a free model. There is a rumor well a rumor there was one article that stipulated that they would show ads. I'm not sure if that's true or not. I don't think it was stipulated in their official blog post announcement that's linked here, but it's maybe I just don't know. They don't claim that they have a limit. You can use it on any of your devices. Let's say you have a laptop computer and then a desktop computer and then a smartphone and then a tablet. It will work on all of them. You're not restricted anymore. You, if you have an existing free account or you're a free user, all you have to do is download the LastPass version for that computer's browser. So if you have an additional laptop, you just download that small piece of software for your web browser on your laptop. And then if you have a smartphone or a tablet, then you have to download a LastPass mobile application. Current premium subscribers will continue to receive their current features and support now they still have a paid version two of them they have a f premium version for basically home users that is a dollar per month if you're a free user you can upgrade to that and then these are the features in the premium account priority support family password sharing up to five people two-factor authentication similar to UB key and one gigabyte of encrypted file storage they also have an enterprise version for companies for large businesses I'm not an affiliate yet but I did sign up to try to become an enterprise affiliate referral but I'm not yet so in the future it's possible that I am an affiliate but I did not include my advertisement at the bottom but I just wanted to let you know that but I'm not an affiliate for residential or home users. I was not able to find an affiliate for that. I don't even know if they have one. Now, existing paid subscribers can allow their subscription to expire. You will just need to make sure that in your account that the auto renewal feature is disabled. If you want to downgrade to the free version, if you're an existing paid subscriber, you have to contact LastPass support. I was not able to find out whether or not they will grant refunds. I, w I will get to that. They have a frequently asked question about that but they didn't really stipulate whether or not they would give out refunds. LastPass currently is supported on Linux, Mac, and Windows. Their mobile version is available on Apple's App Store, Google's Play Store, and Microsoft's Windows Store. Like again, I was not able to verify whether or not LastPass will actually give out refunds for current paid subscribers who want to downgrade to their free version. They have an enterprise version for their business customers that is priced, I think, at $2 per month per end user. And then quickly, muy rapido. Here's the distinction free version, access on all devices, save and fill passwords, password generator, secure notes, share passwords and notes, security challenge, two factor authentication, also known as 2FA. Their premium version for personal users is a dollar per month. Premium includes everything on free plus family sharing. I already went over that in my blog post, but family sharing, five users, UB key and Sesame 2FA options, priority tech support. LastPass for applications, desktop fingerprint identification, and one gigabyte of encrypted file storage. And then finally, their frequently asked questions page. Again, I think they had a, I thought they had a question here. What's included? 
how do I cancel? Uh, let me, maybe it's at the bottom. Let's look here again. Customer frequently asked questions. And what's now included? The switch. Maybe they removed it. I swore that they had a frequently asked questions page that's that tried to answer whether or not they give out refunds. I could be wrong. I just don't know. But at least at last pass is free for multiple devices. And then they do have paid versions. Adios.